everyone. My name is Rachel. I'm one of the children's librarians at the Broomfield Library. Thanks so much for tuning into another online story time. Today we're going to do a fishy story time. We're going to actually start with a little felt board. So can you hold up one finger because we have one little fishy was swimming in the ocean blue, but here comes another. And now we have how many? Two. Two little fishies were swimming in the sea, but here comes another one. And now we have three. Three little fishies were swimming near the shore. Along comes another one. And now we have, how many? Four. Four little fishies swim around and dive. Along comes another one. And now we have five. But here comes a shark looking for some fun. Look out, little fishies! And away they run. Good job. <laughs> that was five little fishies. Now we have no fishies left, but we have one shark, don't we? Great job. Today's story is called The Pout Pout Fish. And this is written by Deborah Deason, and its pictures are by D Dan Hanna. It's copyright 2008, and we're reading it with permission from Macmillan. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She's squirmy and she's squelchy. She is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, my, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. 
I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now, along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. The end. That was the pout pout fish. You can think of fun ways that you could spread some cheery cheeries. Maybe not kissing everybody, but you can, I bet, think of some great ways to make some people happy. So you'll probably notice, parents, that in this book, I pointed to words several times, especially those words that repeat pretty frequently. And that's a great way to show your kiddos that the words on the page have meaning. So it's helping them learn how to read. This book is also a great example of learning new vocabulary. There's lots of great big words in there. Don't shy away of, um, from reading those big words to your kiddos. It'll help build that knowledge and get them ready to learn to read on their own. All right, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's do our goodbye rhyme. We're going to wave high. Wave low. I think it's time we got to go. Wave your elbows. Wave your toes. Wave your tongue. Blah, 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 blah. Wave your nose. Wave your knees. Wave your lips. Blow a kiss from your fingertips. Wave your ears. Wave your hair. Wave your belly. And your derriere. Wave your chin. Wave your eye. Wave your hand. And say bye bye. If you'd like, we have a special kit made up to go along with this book. Um, it's kind of a fun um, pout pout fish and emotions kit that you can pick up at the children's desk whenever the library is open. Um, as long as they last, we do have a lot of fun take and make kits that'll have activities and things inside of them. So anytime you're by the library, stop in and you can pick up something to take home. And if you'd like this one, just let the staff know at the desk that you'd like the emotions kit. Thanks again for tuning in. We hope to see you all again really soon. Take care.